With the upcoming running of the final race at the Two Mile Auto Club Speedway, it'll mark an end to a track that has had an extensive history in the sport. Last year's race in 2022 was a highly regarded one, as many considered it the best of the season. But 10 years ago, one race in particular has stuck with race fans. A race that has and will outlive the track for years to come. The 2013 Auto Club 400. Field begins to roll off. Let's have a look at today's Geico starting grid. On the front row for the race is pole sitter Denny Hamlin, with Greg Biffle alongside of him. Denny Hamlin has been in the midst of a feud with former teammate Joey Logano over the last two weeks. The two got together at Bristol and have been feuding on Twitter over the past few days. The driver next to him is not short of any drama either. Second place Greg Biffle and third place Brad Kozlowski will be sent to the rear for engine swaps. It'll move each car up one spot in each line. And on a sunny day in SoCal, the race goes green. Yeah, a lot of momentum on that outside. Makes a lot of sense. All right, folks, come on, get up off your seat. Get up on your feet. Look at him, look at him, look at him. Let's go racing, boys. Kenza takes the lead early, leading lap one. Kurt Busch and Mark Martin begin racing for sixth as the Hendrick cars move up through the teens. As you progress to lap 10, Lagana races up to third, and Stewart falls from his sixth place starting spot to 15th. During a Coke ad, Kyle Busch gets Matt Kenseth for the lead and pulls away from his teammate. Denny Hamlin and Joey Lagano race one another as Hamlin reclaims third, and Akaro moves up eight spots from the start of the race to 13th. Joey, meanwhile, sends a message off of turn four. The way you let a guy know that you're not happy with him. You, 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 you hit the nail. This is what I used to do. You aggravate a guy. You just do everything you can to say, is he going to hit me or not? Ooh. I think he scraped him right there. I couldn't and, have got much closer. And that's the doubt you want Denny Hamlin to have in his mind. Kind of like Clint Eastwood standing over, you know? And at a racetrack where you're going over 200 miles per hour off in a corner. And know it just takes a little touch to send you sailing. Brad Kozlowski by lap 16 is charged from 43rd all the way up to 16th. And Joey Logano soon starts to fall back as Kurt Busch, Clint Boyer, and Juan Pablo Montoya pass for the lead. On lap 29, a caution is out for David Strummy. And the field comes in, with Kyle Busch holding the lead with teammate Denny Hamlin. Josh Wise is free pass. On lap 34, the race heads back green. Kurt Busch goes to the apron as Joey Logano blocks him to the grass almost, as Kyle Busch clears ahead easily. Two and three wide from sixth on back as Brad chips away into the top ten now. On lap 37 in front of the field, Timmy Hill goes kaboom. It is later realized that during the explosion, Boyer and Kurt Busch hit the wall due to oil on the track, making them the first to come down the pit lane. Kozlowski is the first non-damaged car as nearly half the field pits. Kane also apparently hit the wall, along with Mark Martin and others. The oil has devastated the field, and the rest of the pack heads back green on lap 43. Go, and here's Logano right up against his bumper as they roll off to turn one. Boy, Logano was looking for that way, way outside. Didn't have quite have the room. He's going down on the bottom in turn one. Logano pushes Bush ahead and sends his 22 to the inside of the 18. Harvick runs up the third as they ride side by side to the line. Logano clears through one and two, tucking up in front of Bush. And Casey Kane has a windshield layer get stuck on the nose of the car, but it comes off as they race. Rookie Ricky Stenhouse Jr. races hard for seventh, coming in 11th in standings, surprising many. And Hamlin and Kyle Busch begin racing hard for the second place position, with Kenseth catching up, putting Harvick in a JGR sandwich. By lap 50, Dale Jr. is chipped up to ninth, as fellow 2000 rookie Matt Kenseth fights Denny Hamlin for third. Tony Stewart, meanwhile, is chugging along, battling up to fifth place. Reigning champion Brad Kozlowski races former champion rival Jimmy Johnson in 11th. He's able to claim the spot through three and four. Soon damaged, Clint Boyer gets the 48 and his teammate attacks as well. Johnson appears to be in a free fall currently, but his is not nearly comparable to the 24 of Jeff Gordon, who's struggling in the 27th place position. Biffle packs air on Johnson, getting the 48 car wicked down the front stretch. And by lap 68, the first pit stops begin. Junior, Burton, Ambrose, and Almirola all pit. And soon Logano is in from the lead as the green flag cycle begins. The next lap sees the Interstate Batteries 18 and his two teammates of Denny Hamlin and Matt Kenseth come in. Harvick claims the top, but the 29 is in the next lap. Now Tony Stewart claims bonus points and breaks the previous routine, staying out two extra laps. 
Kurt Busch gets a nab for speeding as Dale Jr. gets his lap back. And soon Kevin Harvick will need to do a pass through as well, speeding on pit road. On first tires, Kyle Busch and Joey Logano race for the proverbial lead. Kyle Busch clearing the 22 for it. Stewart stays out and his teammate bails on the idea of fuel strategy, leaving the 14 car all alone in the lead. Tony is in on lap number 75, claiming the award for best fuel mileage. Kyle Busch will now lead as the race approaches lap 80. And Kyle can't seem to shake that AAA car, however. Logano attacks the bottom, putting his car up the younger Bush brothers inside. On lap 91, however, caution comes out for debris on the backstretch. Fox during this caution begins covering an issue that's been presenting itself to most teams. Splitter wear issues. The rugged bumps on the backstretch have put a beating on many of the undercarriages of the cars. The field comes in with Denny Hamlin taking the top spot from teammate Kyle Busch. And the field charges back green on lap 96. Kozlowski at the back after a speeding penalty on his pit stop. He came in 13th. Now he's 27th as Denny Hamlin and Kyle Busch lead them to green. Once again, Larry, <laughs> three, four, or just pick a lane. There's plenty of them there, and everybody's in one. Yeah, Matt Kenseth in that 20 car, he goes way up the racetrack trying to get that runoff turn, too. The Gibbs cars measure each other through one and two, and Kyle edges ahead through three and four. Things start getting dicey in the mid-pack as RCR and ECR cars tangle. As Kyle passes by the halfway mark, we are reminded of the fact that the leader at halfway here more often than not, does not win the race at Auto Club. Just past halfway, Kenseth and former teammate Greg Biffle get into it down the front stretch. Soon after, Matt Kenseth has to pit due to a flat feeling left rear tire. With 84 to go, Joe Nemechek has a left rear let go and slaps the fence. Caution is called for the 87, and Kenseth gets a break. The field blitzkriegs pit road once more as Kyle holds his lead whilst Hamlin nabs second from Logano. As they pace, many come back around and top off on fuel most thinking they can make it on only one more stop. Logano jumps the front row, snatching the lead from the Gibbs duo once more. He throws an interesting block on Kyle Busch, and Dale Earnhardt Jr. in three laps has gone from 21st to 12th after a 21 second stop for misglued lug nuts. Hamlin and Harvick fight on for third as Greg Biffle charges towards them both. Biffle is working the apron through three and four, passing Hamlin. Eleven appears to be on a free fall, as Stewart takes fifth from him, approaching the final 70 laps. Soon, Marcos Ambrose loses a tire, and Caution is out for a wounded nine machine. The field comes down pit road, and on the exit, Tony Stewart leads a charge of drivers, taking only two tires for the restart. The Fox crew soon find that Joey Logano's splitter is fairly damaged, causing concern in the 22 camp. As dominant car Kyle Busch sits ninth behind old tires in the restart, we take the green flag. Tony Stewart and Clint Boyd Bring them to turn one. Stewart on the outside. The top four drivers there all went with just two tires. Look at the run that Stewart's getting on the outside as well as Kevin Harvick in the 29, and there comes Kyle Busch. Harvick leads a charge in the top crew through the opening lap before Kyle Busch coming back to the line splits he and Kenza. Harvick gets him back, however. As Kevin begins chasing the 14 car out front, the two top drivers on four tires Fight for second, disputing who wants to pass Stewart first. Kyle takes second as Matt Kenseth rediscovers the top 10, and the two eventually catch and pass Stewart in the same corner, as Joey Logano reels all three of them in. As the race approaches the final 40 laps, Kyle and Kevin leg it on the field. Hometown hero Jimmy Johnson, meanwhile, is in 24th, having his worst run in his home track ever. With 39 to go, Bobby Labonte leads a charge of final pit stops under green. Dale Jr., McMurray, Mark Martin all come in. As stops persist, Mark Martin gets nabbed for speeding, and many of the front riders stay on track. Finally, Stewart pits, along with Kozlowski. Logano jumps first of the top three. As Harvick and Bush still race into the final 70 miles, Hamlin is in with 34 to go. And then finally, teammate Kyle Busch comes in with 33 laps left. Kevin Harvick accompanies them as crunch time begins for the leaders. Kyle Busch flies back on track ahead of Harvick, and Logano flies high, chasing Bush but the undercut is not enough. As they race past 30 laps to go, Kevin Harvick sits behind a blowing tire from the nine car. With the caution out, many come in and take fresh tires once more. But the top 10 will stay the same as we get ready for an all time 25 lap run home. All right, the green is the restart box. That's where Kyle Busch has got to gas it and go. He beats Kevin Harvick to the start finish line and here comes Legato up the middle. Boy, 
why Harvick is not going. I mean, he's going nowhere. Logano went up in the middle because he got a shot and a push from his teammate Brad Keselowski in that too. Yeah, Harvick just did not go. And who's flying around the outside? Is that Stewart? That's Stewart up high to third. Kane clears the second, but Stewart is flying high. Hamlin hits ground level down the back stretch. Some cars touch the turn four wall as the field spreads across the racetrack. That Joe Gibbs doesn't have a cup win in. Toyota period. Hard to believe, man. Hard to believe. Now arriving. Track two, Tony Stewart. Oh, trouble down the back. There's a big wreck over there. And it is Mark Martin who goes spinning down the back straightaway. Caution is out for the seventh time. With the caution, Hamlin leads Newman and Johnson down the pit road for more fresh tires. Hamlin under a stop loses a lug nut. I need to come back down and put it on the wheel. He'll have to charge from the back now with only 20 laps left. In the final 40 miles, Kyle Busch is going to have to hold on against many hungry drivers to win the Auto Club 400. There's Stewart goes. to the bottom. Joy and Gano. into Kane. Look at the run. Joey Logano is getting on the high side, but he'll have to fall back in behind Kyle Busch. Yeah, he didn't quite have the momentum. He was almost there. Joey Logano. And you knew Kyle wasn't going to get to the top oh, no. of the racetrack. That was a pretty good mirror driver by Kyle Busch. Stewart and Logano fight, with Joey keeping second behind Busch. Kane rides high while Harvick slips and slides. Kurt Busch slide jobs him through three and four, but checks up the field, giving Kevin Harvick another run. Three and four wide as Denny and Jimmy charge through the field with Ryan Newman looking on. Back at the front, Logano is chasing Kyle Busch. Before we get to the finish, we have to go to one more commercial. Let's pinch our dreams. Let's wake them up. Make them real. Let's not let anything hold us back. Clint Boyer has grenaded the car, ending his shot and scaring the hell out of Paul Menard. All of a sudden, Denny Hamlin is overheating, and Joey Logano is reporting that his temps are pegged. The field from ninth on back charges the pit lane. All take four and Kyle Busch, Joey Logano, Tony Stewart, and Kurt Busch will lead a field with plenty of fresh tires behind them in the final 11 laps. Penalty. How about Kurt Busch, though? After that speeding penalty, did you ever figure he'd be right up here in row two for no. the final restart? And he's right here, do you know, his brother, uh, Kyle and Kurt, knows the tail here. These guys might just get bushwhacked. He's looking to the outside. Joy Logano Lugano. down to block Stewart. Stewart trying to get further underneath him. Can't. What a land rush into turn one. Hey, that 78 may come out on top if he can get up off of two. Couldn't quite pull it off. That's if they all get off turn two. Whoa, tight off of that corner. Boy, Joy Logano, he did not give Kyle Busch much room. There comes Kirk Busch down to the bottom on the back. And that's right where he's been running, Larry. Now watch him, he'll go down on that apron. He's got a lot of grip down there, and he's put a slide job on a couple of guys. And he's got fresher tires. Things are crazy through the field, but the leader is still Kyle Busch. Kurt is slugging it as he slide jobs Logano, but Carl Edwards goes three wide. Jeff Gordon has appeared now, and Denny Hamlin is now fifth. Logano throws another block in the turn one with nine to go. The field dices, and now Denny Hamlin is third, chasing both leaders. Carl Edwards is now there as well, as Joe Logano takes a stab at Bush. Hamlin charges him now, and packs the air to get close off the of four with six to go. Logano overheating takes the lead, and Denny Hamill moves to second. 12 miles now between the two men that have hated each other over the last week. As steam spews from the double deuce, running for his life, Kyle clings the third as the top two pull away. Kyle makes a move off a of four that keeps him in third. And now with three to go, Denny finds the top group chasing back down the 22. Mist coats the outside wall from Logano's car overheating, and the two are ready to have the all-time battle with just two to go. Two to go. Two to go. Oh my God. Two to go. Two to go. Kyle Bush is one second back. Earnhardt second and a half. Carl Edwards is two back. Hamlin is there, boys. He's there. He's stalking him. I believe Hamlin's a scotch better. It seems like he has a bit of an advantage down in turn one and two. Teammates last year, rivals this year. Friends. 
maybe never. To but Joey Logano and Denny Hamlin are going to settle this right now. Joey got loose. He got a little sideways off the ball. There you go. Hamlin gave him a shot. Wasn't to go. Outside, Bailey. Outside. Hamlin there. Logano to the bottom, trying to hold his ground. That's going to be tough, though, but he, he's been running good on the bottom. If he can just clear Hamlin right there. No way. He's going to lose his momentum. They're going to touch hard. Are they going to make it? Neck and neck. Got it. On the back. Three side by side. Here. Kyle Busch out there again. Watch out there. Out there. Plays car. Kyle Busch, he's looking. They. Hamlin edges ahead. They get it. They touch. They, they touch. Hamlin. And here comes Kyle. Hamlin. Hamlin spins down the racetrack and Kyle Busch wins in California. I thought they'd be nice to each other. They were. Kyle Busch wins as teammate has hit hard on the inside wall. Dale Jr. finds second somehow as Joe Gibbs gets his first win at Auto Club Speedway. The 22 is trashed as Kyle Busch takes a bow. As Denny gets put on a backboard with a possible back injury, Tony Stewart tries giving Logano a knuckle sandwich. And boy, Tony Stewart is after Logano. The wreck at the end would take Hamlin out for over a month with his spine injury, as Joey Logano would only become more controversial after the finish. He wouldn't particularly help his case after saying this. Again, the, I know you've just had a chance to look at the replay with Denny Hamlin, your side of it. We worked it last week. Um, probably shouldn't have done what he did last week. So uh, that's what he gets. And um, besides that, I think our Auto Club Ford was uh, very strong all day. I was very uh, happy with um, the car we had. We were super fast, led a lot of laps, nothing to hang our head down about. That's for sure. We're very, very proud of that. Uh, Doug Yates, thank you so much for the motor. Um, that thing ran the last seven, eight laps with no water in it. Uh, just pushing water over over 300 degrees. So it's. Um, it's really amazing for those guys. So thank you guys that went at the Edge Shop uh, to get a solid run out of here today. Um, just uh, look forward to get back to the racetrack and try it again. Joey may not have known that Hamill was stretched out of the track, but regardless, there's a sting on Logano's reputation that lasts to this day for some. But he also will forever be a part of the greatest race in Fontana history. Well, Tony, what angered you at the end of the race? What did you take issue with? What the hell do you think I was mad about? Dumb little s runs us clear down to the infield. He wants to b about everybody else, and he's the one that drives like a little b I'm going to bust his ass. Thanks, Tony. Thank you.